I know this version of iOS, the 13.5.1, has been here for a while, but is it worth it to update in terms of the speed and performance? I'm Lucas from Apple Fox and let's begin. So I've always been making videos about the latest version of iOS, but a lot of small updates don't really bring anything I could show you. Speed test was a good idea in my opinion, so consider this to be like a test round. In this video I will try to perform a speed test, and if you have any suggestions on how to improve the actual test, let me know most definitely down below in the comments. And here is how I'll do it. I will perform tests on the same device in order to make sure the results are as fair as possible. And of course, first running the older version of iOS, which is in this case 13.5, I will open up some apps, some stock apps installed uh, on every single iPhone, and also some third-party apps, and I will also do some other intensive tasks, like to export a video and stuff like this. Maybe also some internet related stuff, but this may not be very precise or fair, so I don't really want to go into internet based comparisons. So as you can see right now, this is an iPhone 11 Pro Max, we're going to be using the test or using this iPhone for uh, the test. And let me at first open up the settings to show you that uh, this phone is really running the uh, previous version of iOS, which is 13.5 and 13.5.1 update is ready to be installed. So we can begin. People consider cleaning the apps from the multitasking panel uh, to have an effect. I don't really think that this is the case, but I will clean all of the apps just to make sure that we are fair and we can move on to the first test, which is going to be a very basic one. And we will, in fact, open up the phone app. You can see that it took about half of the second. You can see all of the exact numbers are here on the phone on the stopwatch. And then we will compare the results running both versions of iOS. The next thing I want to do is to open up camera and snap a photo really quickly here so you can see it doesn't take very long and we have the exact numbers right here. And let's move on to something a little bit more intense, let's say it's not like a basic opening of the app, but let's open up a game. So the loading, everything has to take place. Yes, you need internet to use or to play this game, but it should at least open up uh, without the need of an internet connection. So I think that this is a fair test and we'll of course perform the same thing after updating to the latest iOS. And let's move on to video editing and exporting the video pretty much. So what I try to do is to, I, pre I pretty much took or recorded a 4K video that is 10 seconds long, roughly. And in the iMovie app, which is the app for video editing, which is from Apple, I will put five times, I will duplicate it five times, so we have about 50 seconds of 4K video. So after this, we will try to export it and export it in 4K and measure the time how long it actually takes. So let me just click on this and let's just get started. I mean, yeah, the file is big, so as you can see, it takes a little bit and about 30 seconds. Of course, don't focus on the exact numbers. I'm actually pretty curious to see if it actually pays off to do this test, if we will able to see any result or any difference. But if you don't want to miss the next videos like these, most definitely click on the subscribe button so you will always be updated and you will never miss anything new. Meanwhile, we can move on and install the latest version of iOS. As it takes place, I already know what happened to the storage in case that's interesting for you. So I would like to compare it really quickly here. So before running 13.5, the uh, available storage on my iPhone was 123.4 gigabytes. And after I updated to 13.5.1, here on the right, you can see that the capacity jumped to 126 gigs. So about two and a half gigs were simply brought back. I mean, when uh, there isn't any difference in the speed and the performance, at least those two gigs are nice. Of course, it's a very small update. I'm not talking about any new features. It's probably only about bug fixes. So yeah, but let's move on to the test and let's perform the same things. 
Of course, it wouldn't be fair to simply uh, open up the phone and start doing the test. So I was playing around with this after the update, so I don't perform the test immediately after updating. So I was just playing around with this. I waited a little bit and then we can actually move on. So the first thing again in the cleared multitasking panel is to open up the phone app. And I would say it's exactly the same thing. So no difference as of right now. The photo, taking a photo, as far as I remember, it's exactly the same. I'm not sure if we will be able to see any difference. Let's also try the headball game, the game I tried before. And as you can see, it's loading. And apparently it's taken a little bit longer than it was before. So, but yeah, the results aren't tremendous. And again, let's open up iMovie and let's import the same five video clips. So let's import it and then export it as 4K and let's measure the time. Again, it's going to take a while. It's a 4K video, but the iPhone 11 Pro is very powerful. So on all their devices and on all their iPhones, it would take a lot longer than you can see right here. But we try to compare the results. So let's just wait and see what's going to happen. And the result is about 31.4 seconds. So did we notice any difference? I wouldn't really say that a difference is there. Comparing the result of the phone app that we open up, 0.51 seconds, exactly the very same thing, zero difference at all. Uh, when it comes to taking a photo and opening up the camera, you can see 1.74, 1.77. I mean, it's pretty much a fraction of a second if I actually measured it correctly, but I did my best. So no difference in my opinion. With this, we can see 0.7 seconds difference with the app, with the game that we opened up. So again, nothing that would actually have an impact or change the way we, we look at iPhones or use them. And exporting the 4K video, exactly the same thing. About 0.1 seconds slower on uh, the 30.5.1, but it's really, it's nothing pretty much. So this test showed us that there isn't any speed improvement or speed downgrade in the 30.5.1. As of right now, I probably won't be doing this for every smaller version since it takes a lot of time and effort and there isn't much to compare really. So we will most definitely do it when the iOS 14 comes out. That's going to be very interesting. But yeah, stay tuned for the WWDC 2020 and other videos from me. And if you enjoy this kind of content, Make sure you support this video with your thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later in the next one. Peace out.